Hello everybody, I'm Jeannie. Welcome back to Magenta Torah Messages. We're going to be doing a love reading for Virgo singles. We're going to be pulling on their person's energy coming towards Virgo singles, their next action, how Virgo is going to feel about this situation coming in, and a possible outcome for this, okay? Alrighty, yeah, you know what it is, squad. We pull up energy for the person coming towards our Virgo singles. Can we get some energy for the person coming towards the Virgo singles? Look, I'm going to keep the one that turned over. I feel like with this six of wands, this person is in a celebratory mood. They are feeling good. Maybe they're being publicly recognized. Maybe they're celebrating. What is their next action towards Virgo singles? Oh, okay, the Emperor in reverse. Hmm, I feel like they're going to, their next action might be a little controlling. If it might be a little um, strong if you get the gist. A little tyranny. Mm, I'm not liking that energy. Um, what will be Virgo's energy for this person when they come in? What will be Virgo's energy to this person when they come in? I feel like the Virgos with this Knight of Swords, you will be, you think you will be thinking logically. Um, you may um be a little in your head about the situation, maybe obsessing, trying to think illogically and intellectually about the situation. Um, hmm, I'm not liking this energy. <laughs> This is a possible outcome for this relationship. This is a possible outcome for this relationship coming towards the Virgo singles. Look, the Hermit. Oh, goodness. Possible outcome for the Virgos would be... Um, I'm really getting isolation for this. Um, I feel like the possible outcome for this will be that Virgos will be put in a place where they have to go inwards to find knowledge to um, really reflect on the situation. Yeah, this is not giving me good vibes at all. Um, but let's clarify. Can we clarify the person's energy coming towards Virgo singles, please? Okay, Queen of Pentacles. And the six of wands. So they're in the energy of wanting to have a celebration with you. Okay. I feel like they're in the energy of maybe they are um, financially stable. They're nurturing, um, loving. Or maybe they are wanting to, they're in the energy of wanting to celebrate, be happy with you. Someone who is loving, nurturing. They see you as stable. Um, you are definitely huh. with this being their energy though it's almost like they're in the energy to give this to you to give you love and nurturing and maybe share something with you share good news with you okay let's see what their next action will keep their for their next action with the emperor card and reverse what's their next action for our Virgo singles okay we got Okay, we got Temperance in the Moon. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> With their next actions being controlling, tyranny, um, abrasive, you know, mean, and then Temperance in the Moon, I feel like... This person really wants to come in and put take control over this situation in such a way where he can or they can. I said he because of the emperor. Um, take it as it resonates though. So, so they can patiently over time release their secrets and illusions like, like, like. Like they want to get a hold of you so they can have time to slowly show you their secrets, their their secret sides, their fears, their... I don't like this. God. 
I don't like this at all, Virgo singles. The next step is not only confusing, but it's just, it's not sitting right with me. It's almost like they want to put such a hold on you where they can control you and put you in a fear state and keep you secret. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Anyways. Uh, we clarify Virgo's energy, please. With this matter of swords. Energy towards this relationship. Oh my goodness. Look. And the Ace of Wands in reverse. Okay. So I feel like you are really um, focused um, on not having a new beginning with this person with the Ace of Wands in reverse. A passionate ruin. Okay. So it's like the passion is gone for you you don't want this new beginning with this person when they come in with this energy it's not gonna spark something happy with you it's gonna make you obsess about the last time this person came around and the pain that it caused you okay the possible outcome with the hermit i'm not liking this y'all i'm not liking this at all uh -huh. look ace of cups in the reverse what the heck? My deck is not upside down. That came out in the reverse. Along with the Ace of Wands and then the Ace of Cups in reverse right after that. Um, okay, so for the possible outcome, like I said, I feel like this whole situation is just going to end and put you in a mode of isolation trying to think and trying to really get um, a clearer picture on this. And with this Ace of Cups in reverse, I feel like this, it will end with emotions spilling out all over the floor, like um, dramatic, no, it, it's just, it's just gonna, it's not gonna end well, okay? That's what I'm seeing, that's what I'm hearing. It's flustering me. I wanna get the energy away from me. So um, my advice for this situation is when this person comes towards you, Virgo singles to, uh, uh-uh, don't allow this. Don't allow this at all. Anyways, let's see what we can get about this. What do you have to tell us about the situation? For Virgo singles. Look. Destiny. I feel like this was destined. This person was supposed to come in. This was destined to come in for you to... I'm hearing karma like this was this person's karma to come in trying to get you back and you go be like nah nah I'm, I'm good on my own you feel me I ain't got no more love for this situation oh my goodness that's way too many cards what did I say about the situation too many cards are like okay so we have dream message so either this person is trying to connect with you in your dreams or the divine is trying to connect with you in your dreams about the situation uh, and with this you already know card i feel like in destiny i feel like you really do already know that this person is gonna is destined to come back around for you and you already know what you have to do in this situation Look, divine masculine. I feel like this is a situation with a divine masculine. Hmm. Reconsider. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, I feel like this person is energetically sending you dream messages, trying to get you to reconsider them as your divine masculine but you already know what they are what their next step with this emperor in the reverse you already know what they are you already know their energy okay let's pull some oracles on this and close it on out what do you have to say about the situation for Virgo singles what do you have to say about the situation for Virgo singles got married wife bae Ooh. 
okay i'm hearing this person might already be married or was married and then magic involved and then yeah with the dream message i feel like this person may be doing magic some moon magic on you trying to you know into your dreams into your thoughts your subconscious trying to um use candle magic to really get you to reconsider them that's gross if you gotta use magic to get somebody to love you you have problems look obsessive cheater abusive like i said red flags you got problems and then we have gemini okay you could be messing with a gemini this could be a gemini in this situation you already know oh my goodness Okay, and then justice. Okay, so with this justice card and destiny here, I feel like, again, this was supposed to be a part of your destiny to, you know, weigh out the karmic scales for you, for your favor, to get you to the higher heights, to ascend you, all right? Um, so take it as a lesson and let it roll off your shoulders. You heard it here. If anything resonated with you, please give me a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you want to see what comes up next for the Virgo singles. Thank you for watching.